North Korea says it tested an underwater nuclear attack drone in response to a joint naval exercise between the U.S., Japan, and South Korea. North Korea announced the drone's launch on Friday, just days after Kim Jong-un scrapped his country's long-standing goal of peaceful reunification with South Korea. Kim vowed his country is rewriting its constitution to define South Korea as its most hostile enemy. Tension on the Korean peninsula is steadily rising as Kim accelerates production of weapons and threatens nuclear conflict once again. The U.S. and its allies are responding by beefing up combined military exercises, which Kim claims is practice for an invasion. The underwater drone, designed to destroy naval vessels and ports, and first tested last year, is just one of the new weapons in North Korea's arsenal. But South Korea claims the North is exaggerating its drone's capabilities. Despite the skepticism, North Korea's defense ministry said our army's underwater nuke-based countering posture is being further rounded off and its various maritime and underwater responsive actions will continue to deter the hostile military maneuvers of the navies of the U.S. and its allies. The statement went on to warn of catastrophic consequences for increased military activity in the region. South Korea condemned the North's recent test, saying it threatens peace in the Korean peninsula and the world. Last weekend, Kim conducted his first ballistic missile test of the year. State media describes that weapon as a new solid fuel intermediate range missile, tipped with a hypersonic warhead. During an emergency meeting at the UN Thursday, South Korea pleaded with the council to, quote, break the silence over Kim's escalating missile tests and threats. Russia and China blocked U.S.-led efforts to increase sanctions on North Korea as new acts of hostility emerge.